Hi, this is Ryan from Pop Cultures. I'm here with Brian O'Hallan. Brian, it is an absolute honor to meet you. I'm a big fan of, of Kevin Smith and your work. So obviously, first question is now, I'm sure you're getting this all day, right? Clerks 3. Yes. Now, I understand you're probably not going to be able to tell us spoilers or anything, but I want to. I want you to, do you mind telling how you it felt reading that script, like as in seeing Dante grow as a character? Well, you know what the greatest thing about Kevin's ability as a writer is to know how to grow his characters and to develop them over time, especially. And so when he had written the script and gave it to, uh, to myself and the other main characters of this cast, I got to tell you, halfway through it, I was almost welling with tears. He had written such a he has written such a beautiful piece of work, and then at the end, he definitely has combined everything that he has learned as a writer and filmmaker and of these characters because these were the the first major characters that he's written as a filmmaker who people got to know and love and have cherished and to a cult following all these years. So. I was absolutely uh, overwhelmed with how beautifully and how hilarious it is. A, it's always going to be funny. That's the main goal. B, it was tremendous growth from just where we last left off, the Dante and Randall and the Jay and Silent Bob characters. Dante and Randall buying the, the quick stop for themselves, now owning it. Uh, Becky, played by Rosario Dawson, is pregnant with Dante's yeah. hideous love child. <laughs> and, uh, and so you, this will be a mix with the child involved, so obviously we can go from there. The, the, the imagination is limitless is where you can go. Did you have an idea of where the character would go and did it sort of go in line with what, what Kevin wrote? Well, knowing what, how we left off, I could imagine where it could go, but he made it even you know, he made it beyond my expectations, and I know other fans' expectations as well. And, and that's the great thing about Kevin and his writing is he does that. He, he brings you in a certain direction that you don't really think it would go and then makes it work. Now, there's, so there's a lot of demand for his sequels, especially ones with you in them. So right. there's demand for, uh, you know, Clerks 3, as you just mentioned, uh, More Rats 2, which you're coming back for, correct? Correct, which he's turning into a 10-part uh, miniseries. Yeah. Right. Um, there's also a demand for Volga 2. Yeah, Brian Johnson uh, becoming popular with the uh, comic book men series, of course, uh, and his podcast, Tell Him Steve Dave. It has come up many times. I uh, Would you no, wear the tights again? Oh, yeah, no, in a heartbeat, in a heartbeat. <laughs> we have a, myself and him and Walt, actually, Walt Flanagan, uh, have been talking about where the plot line would be for a, a sequel so many years now after. And uh, we're coming up with something I think that's really going to be really, really good. Now that they've uh, wrapped up shooting their latest season, uh, now it's going to give him a lot more time to be free to write. So I look forward to seeing a first draft of what uh, Brian is going to come up with and go from there. So I know that the entire crew and people who had worked on the previous one are ready to go when at a moment's notice. So if it's still in the early stages, so this sudden clown uh, epidemic <laughs> is not viral marketing for Volga 2? I, I have no idea why all of a sudden the... The terrorizing clown thing has become such a weird thing in pop culture, and so uh, it's simple to say, like, look, I don't have. In, if anybody saw the original Volga, you know that the clown was the, the kind of the hero of the movie. Yeah. Uh, and finally, what are you currently watching and taking in terms of entertainment at the moment? Oh my God, I'm always on the road uh, as of lately. I'm a big. Uh, I'm a big. Um, big Bang Theory. Yeah. A Modern Family. I love. Um, Blackish is a very funny show. Uh, Anderson, I think, is hilarious. Um, what else? Uh, I do a lot of, like, uh, I'm a car guy kind of guy, yeah. so I do a lot of the uh, car shows, like the Gas Monkey Garage is always a great one, or any of the guys from Phantom Works, or uh, even uh, those Deadliest Catch. It can, it's a simple show about <laughs> men crabbing, but for some reason it's enthralling to watch. I have the same thing with Swamp People. That, yeah, like, that I can't help but watch that. It's, right. They're more manly than I will ever be. Right, 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 exactly. And then there's always sports. I'm a big hockey fan. I'm a season ticket holder with the New York Rangers back in New York. How are they going at the moment? Uh, their first opening night game was uh, just two nights ago, and we won 5-3 to three over the New York Islanders, so I'm very happy about that. Uh, I, after I get back from here and New Zealand, which will be another week and a half and then I get home and I immediately go out to San Antonio Texas for another Comic Con there so all of October I won't be able to go to a hockey game uh, so but once I get back I'll be back well as I said Brian it's been an absolute honor to meet you thank Not you so much and for thank you for time. all your tweets on Twitter I know you've been guys yes, who follow yes. me yeah. so I want to thank you guys here for following and follow me they're gonna put this up and you retweet this so no, we're, we're more than happy to promote yeah. your work thank you Please, so much thank you